In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. We are risen. Hallelujah. Lord, open our lips that we may glorify and praise your name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hail gladdening light of his pure glory poured, who is the immortal Father, heavenly, blessed, holiest of holies, Jesus Christ our Lord. Now we are come to the sun's hour of rest. The lights of evening round us shine. We hymn the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit divine. Worthiest art thou at all times to be sung with undefiled tongue. Son of our God, giver of life alone, therefore in all the world, Thy glories, Lord, they own. Let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Psalms set for this evening are Psalms 98, 99, and a hundred and one. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm, they have got him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his just deliverance in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness toward the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord all the earth. Break into singing and make melody. Make melody to the Lord upon the harp, upon the harp, and with the sounds of praise, with trumpets and with horns, cry out in triumph before the Lord the King. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the good earth and those who live upon it. Let the river clap their hands and let the mountains ring out together before the Lord. For he comes to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. The Lord is King. Let the nations tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is high above all nations. Let them praise your great and terrible name. For holy is the Lord. The mighty one is king and loves justice. 
you have established equity. You have dealt righteousness and justice in Jacob. O oh, exalt the Lord our God and bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called to the Lord and he answered. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept to his teachings and the law that he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were a forgiving God to them and pardoned their wrongdoing. O exalt the Lord our God and bow down towards his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. My song shall be of steadfastness and justice. To you, Lord, will I sing. I will be wise in the way of innocence. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk within my house in purity of hearts. I will set nothing evil before my eyes. I hate the sin of backsliders. It shall get no hold on me. Crookedness of heart shall depart from me. I will know nothing of wickedness. The one who secretly slanders a neighbor, I will destroy. The proud look and the arrogant hearts, I will not endure. My eyes shall look to the faithful in the land, and they shall make their home with me. One who walks in the way of innocence, he shall minister to me. No one who practices deceit, shall live in my house. No one who utters lies shall stand in my sight. Morning by morning, I will destroy all the wicked of the land and cut off all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The lesson is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 6, reading from verse 39 to 49. He also told them this parable. Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they not both fall into a pit? A student is not above a teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like the teacher. Why do you look at a speck of sawdust in your friend's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to a friend, Friend, let me take the speck out of your eye, when you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye? You hypocrites, first take the plank out of your eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your friend's eye. No good tree bears bad fruits, nor does a bad tree bear good fruits. Each tree is recognized by its own fruits. People do not pick from thorn bushes or grapes from briars. The good person brings good things out of the good stored up in the hearts. And the evil one brings evil things out of the evil stored up in the hearts. For out of the overflow of the hearts, 
the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? I will show you what a person is like who comes to me and hears my word and puts them into practice. That one is like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood comes, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my word and does not put them into practice is like someone who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. Here ends the lesson. Today is the feast day of Monica, Saint Monica, the mother of Augustine of Hippo. And I'm going to read to you from Saints and Seasons. Monica was a Christian woman of North Africa whose devout faith is immortalized in her son's book, The Confessions of Saint Augustine. As a young man, Augustine caused his mother great sorrow as he rejected her church and sought self-fulfillment in the rival cults and philosophies of the day. She pursued him with her prayers and when he crossed to Italy, followed him there in person until in old age she had the joy of seeing her son come back to the Christian faith. When Monica knew that her death was near, she tried to comfort her son. Son, for my part, I no longer find joy in the world. One thing there was for which I desired to remain in this life a little longer, that I should see you, a Catholic Christian, before I died. And when her son promised to carry her body back, to Africa for burial, she forbade him. It does not matter where you bury my body. Do not let that worry you. All I ask of you is that wherever you may be, you should remember me at the altar of the Lord. The story of Monica and Augustine is an absolute beautiful and precious one. It is of a mother devoted to pray for the salvation of the soul of her son. I'm sure she raised him well and must have been very disappointed when he as a young man turned his back on the faith that she taught him. He rejected the church and lived what can be called a life of debauchery and false beliefs. But Monica never gave up on her son, even following him from the African soil to Italy, where he moved to a foreign land. She didn't only follow him with her presence, but also with her prayers. And after many years of praying, Augustine came back to the Christian faith and not only came back to the faith but became a priest, a bishop and a famous writer. And so Monica is an encouragement to all of us to never give up on what we pray for and to always persevere in prayer. God does not answer maybe in our time but in God's time. But we have the surety that God does answer prayer. So let us pause for a moment in 
thanksgiving to God for answered prayer and also to consider what it is that we would want, would want to bring before God in prayer at this time in our lives. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his just deliverance in the sight of the nations. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In our Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Southwark in the Church of England. We especially pray for the Right Reverend Christopher Chesson. In the Diocese of St. Helena, we pray for the Right Reverend Dale Powers, the Bishop of St. Helena. In our own diocese, we pray for the Church of St. Saviour in Claremont. We bring before God the Reverend Chesney France and his family. We pray for the parish leadership and all its people. Give thanks to God for the service of remembrance, healing, and hope that took place last night at St. Aidan's in Lansdowne. We thank God that we could draw towards God as a community with our shared grief. And we thank God for blessing us with new hope. Continue to pray for comfort for all those who are mourning and healing for all the injured. We also pray for the visitors from our Link Diocese in York. We pray that they will have a fruitful and meaningful visit to the dioceses in Cape Town. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this cathedral church, we pray for those who have been asking for prayer. We 
member David Harris, Walter Looning, Hilary Looning, Barry Smith, Margaret Salberg, Glenda Waldskut, Tatiana Fernandez, Sheila Weeder, Stuart Van Graan, and Numbolelo Tihawa. In our year's mind, today we remember Frank Ilkin. We pray for his loved ones, family, those near and dear to him, and those who mourn and remember his passing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, be gracious to our land, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Let your priest be clothed with righteousness, and let your servants shout for joy. O Lord, make your ways known upon the earth. Let all nations acknowledge your saving power. Give your people the blessing of peace, and let your glory be over all the world. Make our hearts clean, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Good Shepherd, you are the gate that secures the sheepfold. Grant that all who hear your voice may know you who calls us each by name and follow where you lead. For you live and reign in the unity of the Blessed Trinity, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We pray the collects for Monica, mother of Augustine, of Hippo. Gracious God, you heard the supplication of your servant Monica when she cried to you in anguish and sorrow. Teach us in all our asking, so to ask in your name that our sorrow may be turned into joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. pray the collect for peace. Eternal God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsel, and all just works proceed, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy, defend us in all perils and dangers of the night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen.